in a galaxy not so far away, the 1978 television movie, the Star Wars Holiday Special, left an indelible mark on the Star Wars saga. Often regarded as a curious artifact in the franchise's history, this special brought the iconic characters to the small screen for a festive celebration. Are there any lesser-known facts or anecdotes about this TV movie that fascinate you? Set against the backdrop of the late 70s, the special attempted to capture the magic of Star Wars in a holiday-themed narrative. Despite its initial airing being a one-time event, the holiday special has lingered in the memories of fans, sparking discussions about its peculiarities and unique charm. Is there a particular scene or moment in this TV movie that has had a lasting impact on you? Now, let's delve into some intriguing details about this cinematic oddity. The special featured a mix of the familiar faces from the original trilogy and introduced new elements, including the Wookiee planet of Kashyyyk. However, the production faced challenges, leading to a concoction of musical numbers, bizarre humor, and a distinctive overall tone that sets it apart from the rest of the Star Wars universe. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts on this unique chapter in Star Wars history and its lasting impact on fans. The Star Wars Holiday Special, a unique and infamous television event from 1978, emerged as an ambitious attempt to capitalize on the burgeoning popularity of George Lucas' iconic space saga. Airing only once, the special was a blend of variety show elements and the beloved Star Wars universe. Set against the backdrop of Life Day, a Wookiee holiday, the narrative follow with Han Solo and Chewbacca's quest to reunite with Chewie's family on Kashyyyk. What unfolded was a bizarre mix of musical numbers, comedic sketches, and appearances by familiar Star Wars characters. Notably, the special introduced Boba Fett in an animated segment, marking the character's first appearance. Despite the eclectic approach, the special received a lukewarm reception from fans and critics alike, and it faded into obscurity. However, its legacy endures as a cult classic and a testament to the risks of diverging from established formulas, reminding fans that even in a galaxy far, far away, not every venture can achieve legendary status. Carrie Fisher, known for her role as Princess Leia in the Star Wars franchise, insisted on singing during the 1978 TV special. The Life Day song she performed was derived from the Star Wars, Episode 4 A New Hope theme. However, Fisher expressed dissatisfaction with the song despite her insistence on having a singing role. The peculiar blend of musical numbers, comedic sketches, and the introduction of Boba Fett marked this attempt to capitalize on Star Wars popularity. Interestingly, in 2004, documentary filmmaker Kevin Burns gained access to the original print for his Empire of Dreams documentary. Despite this access, the segment featuring footage from the Star Wars Holiday Special was excluded from the final cut, leaving an intriguing piece of Star Wars history on the editing room floor. Jumping ahead to the premiere of Star Wars, Episode 7 The Force Awakens in 2015, Harrison Ford, who portrayed Han Solo, was asked about reprising his role for a potential Star Wars Holiday Special. His response, I'd kill myself, reflects the contentious legacy of the 1978 TV movie and the reluctance of some key figures to revisit that particular corner of the Star Wars universe. This peculiar mix of artistic choices, behind-the-scenes decisions, and the enduring impact of the Star Wars holiday special showcases the complexities and challenges faced when attempting to expand the beloved franchise in unconventional ways. The Star Wars Holiday Special, often dubbed as the worst two hours of television ever, holds a notorious place in television history. Forty years after its ill-fated debut, the surviving cast members remain notably embarrassed by its existence. Anthony Daniels, who portrayed c 3 po revealed that George Lucas avoids questions about the special, even walking out of interviews. Lucas himself declared the show would never be made available again, suggesting the master tapes were lost a claim debunked when the special's cartoon surfaced in the 2011 saga Blu-ray release. Harrison Ford, who played Han Solo, dismisses any inquiries, having little recollection of the experience and never watching the special. Mark Hamill skillfully evades discussions about it, leaving Carrie Fisher as the sole cast member publicly addressing the debacle. Contrary to some reports, Kenny Baker did not embody R2-D2 in the special. A remote control version took its place. This deviation from the iconic droid's portrayal adds to the peculiarities of an already infamous production. 
The show's infamy is further solidified by its top ranking in the book, What Were They Thinking? The 100 Dumbest Events in Television History. Titled The Worst Two Hours of Television Ever, this acknowledgement cements the special's place in television history as a colossal misstep. Despite attempts to bury its memory, the Star Wars holiday special persists as a cautionary tale showcasing the challenges faced when attempting unconventional expansions of beloved franchises. Harrison Ford's initial reluctance to join the Star Wars holiday special was eventually overcome, contributing to the peculiar challenges faced during its production. The cantina sequence, a notable segment in the special, posed unexpected difficulties. The alien actors, clad in elaborate costumes, struggled with oxygen levels during the day-long shoot, requiring the provision of oxygen tanks between takes. Meanwhile, Mark Hamill, recovering from a near-fatal car accident, faced the added challenge of heavy makeup to conceal the aftermath of reconstructive surgery. These behind-the-scenes struggles shed light on the complexities that unfolded during the making of this infamous TV special, offering a glimpse into the hurdles faced by both cast and crew. In 1978, amid the scripting phase of Star Wars, episode V The Empire Strikes Back, George Lucas conceived a unique television special to sustain the momentum of the franchise. Concerned that the success of the original 1977 release might fade from public consciousness, Lucas aimed to keep Star Wars fresh in fans' minds and maintain merchandise sales. The resulting production, known today as a notorious TV misstep, was the one-off holiday special. However, when Lucas viewed with the final cut, he was dismayed, realizing it risked being perceived as a hasty cash grab. Despite Lucas' attempt to halt its broadcast globally, the special aired in the U.S. and Canada. Yet, it found an unexpected afterlife in smaller theaters, continuing to screen during the holidays. These screenings, often legally licensed by independent theaters, persisted until November 2019 when Disney revoked all licenses. The holiday special's unconventional journey from a televised event to small theaters adds another layer to its unique legacy. Interestingly, Carrie Fisher, who portrayed Princess Leia, received a copy of the special as a gift from Lucas. Fisher, known for her candidness, revealed that she would play it at parties when she wanted guests to leave. This peculiar detail sheds light on the star-studded cast's varied reactions to the unconventional special and adds a touch of humor to its enduring legacy. In retrospect, the 1978 TV movie, conceived as a marketing strategy, took an unexpected turn, becoming a cult classic for all the wrong reasons. The legacy of the Star Wars holiday special, marked by its unforeseen afterlife in theaters, and even its presence in Carrie Fisher's social gatherings, showcases the unpredictable nature of pop culture phenomena. As we wrap up this cosmic journey through the unique tapestry of intergalactic entertainment, I encourage you to take a moment and dive into the vault of your memories. The Star Wars Holiday Special, a celestial oddity birthed in the cosmic cradle of 1978, has left an indelible mark on the cultural zeitgeist. Whether you found solace in the quirky antics of our favorite Wookiee family or marveled at the unexpected interstellar cameos, this holiday anomaly has woven itself into the fabric of our collective nostalgia. As the credits roll and the echoes of Jefferson Starship's musical escapade linger, I implore you to share your cherished recollections and musings. What was it about this unconventional cinematic voyage that resonated with you? Was it the quirky charm, the unexpected crossovers, or perhaps the sheer audacity to celebrate the holiday spirit in a galaxy far, far away? Your stories are the constellations that illuminate the vastness of fandom connecting us across time and space. So, dear traveler of the stars, whether you hold fond memories or intriguing insights, share them with us. Engage in the cosmic conversation and let the force of your unique perspective ripple through the galaxy of discussions. Your voice, much like the echo of Chewbacca's distinct roar, adds a layer of richness to the tapestry of Star Wars lore. Thank you for embarking on this interstellar escapade with me. Your time and curiosity are appreciated like a hidden gem in the desert of Tatooine. Until our paths cross again in the vast reaches of the galaxy, keep the spirit of the Star Wars holiday special alive in your heart. May the memories be with you, and may the force of your reflections be strong.